Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can easily use TickTick in a few minutes. So let's start. Now TickTick is a simple application and after watching this video you will know how to use it and you will become professional. The first thing that I recommend to do is just click on left top, left top corner to your profile and click settings. When you're going to do it, click on theme here and you can simply choose black or dark. I recommend going to dark theme because like I'm someone who is uh, planning days in advance in the evenings. And for me, this is really helpful. Then you have also the task templates here or note templates if you want to smart list that you can like add here or show or, or hide a calendar. And there is a lab that I recommend to have. So you can also have a habit and duplicate the templates if you want to. But the one thing I recommend to turning on is a promo timer, promo timer, sorry, that you can have like 25 minutes working, five minutes of a break. And that's what I recommend to have. Then you get like profile here that look can like edit the profile picture, whatever, it's up to you. Now let's click done here. And when I'm going to have a tick tick here and I'm going to have my everything, the first thing that you will see here is today. Like, what do you want to work on today? This is your personal thing that no one will be able to have access to. Then you have like next seven days and the next thing is calendar. But for accessing calendar, you need to have premium account. You need to upgrade it. Now to go further, then you're going to see like inbox of messages. And then you're going to see lists here, tags and custom. What you can do is just simply click add a list. And now we can go with this is a list. And let's go with color this one. You can also create a new folder if you want to and add it to the folder. So we got like folder and in those you can have lists here and type. You can have it as a task or note list again up to you when you're going to click save here. Uh, you're going to see here. This is a list. Let's just add here task one, two, three, four, five. I can simply right click on the task. I can change the date tomorrow, like the planning, or you can create the custom. Then you can change the priority, how immediately you need to like working on. Then you can also create a subtask to this task, like subtask. Or you can simply add a tag. Click OK, and you would see like the tags here. Now, what you can do, right click, right click on it and click Start here. When you're gonna click Start, it will automatically start a timer in the left bottom corner. Uh, like, okay, I'm right now focusing on this task and click Stop here. What you can do now is to simply let's go right click, or you can like add the settings on your tick tick timer. Right here, change the promo duration, short break duration, long break duration, and just edit how many minutes you want to work on your task. What you can do also is daily promo goals, just simply add like how many of them you want, or you can like disable the goals. Now press confirm. What you can do also, as I mentioned, you can edit the date, name of the task, add description, subtasks, or you can simply print it, delete it, copy link, right bottom corner, you can see it here task activities and see like what was happening and that's pretty much it. The next thing that you can do is go to three dots here and click Kanban view and right here you will see it in a Kanban. So if you don't like having it as a list, you can have it as a Kanban. Now uh, there is a thing about Kanban that I like that you can have those uh, to do here. I would just add progress and new section complete, right? So these are the three things that you can have here and which can be effective. So this is pretty much it. Thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, ask me down in the comments and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.